Welcome back to the Dojo of Game. And today, we're going to get into another video of the Paul Brothers talking about a potential fight with Andrew and Tristan Tate. Now, this is the video I was looking for originally where Logan Paul does a bit of trash talking. I didn't see the whole video, but I saw some clips. So let's get into it without further ado. Shit. I'm the one calling the shots. Uh, I don't get stuck in the box. Feel like I've been through a lot. Look, Andrew, fighter, legitimate, badass motherfucker, yeah, yeah. strong mentality. I'm sorry, Tristan Tate is the weak link. <laughs> bro, uh -oh. bro, bro, come on. Uh -oh. Tristan, I say let's he got He got a bad shoulder. Mm. He, sh he shaped like a gingerbread man. Romania so he, is a flat like, away. Let's, let's, <laughs> you, do, you, do, you doing let's it to run him? it. The PFL will. I don't want no beef, but, but the that's delusion. Uh, All right. So Logan Paul talking about delusion while simultaneously being delusional himself. Tristan Tate has immensely more fighting experience than Logan Paul. His skill level is immensely higher than that of Logan Paul. Logan Paul is a subpar boxer at best. He's a good wrestler, so that could help him if it were an MMA fight. But most likely they would fight boxing. And Logan Paul would get destroyed by Tristan Tate. I'm just... Just imagining, right? I mean, who knows what could happen, but also Logan Paul doesn't even have knockout power like his brother does. I haven't really seen any knockout power. He doesn't know how to punch properly. He doesn't throw his hips into it. He's an arm puncher. His very sloppy technique basically just bounces, punches off his shoulders. He doesn't put his lower body into it. He did pick up a little bit of head movement within the last fight that he didn't have before, so he has improved a bit, but he is not... A striker by any I don't know by any means he's not a striker he's not on the same level as his brother he likes to he likes to connect the two his brother is a skilled boxer he is not he is the one who's delusional thinking that he would destroy Tristan Tate considering Tristan Tate does have championships in kickboxing as well I think they're one like England Championship, if I'm not confused, if I'm not mistaken. Andrew Tate has like world championships, but either way, it's way more of an accomplishment within the combat world than Logan Paul has done. Plus, Tristan on a regular basis spars with his brother. He has been all of these years, so he's definitely picked up a lot of skills from his brother. If you've ever trained any type of martial arts, it does depend a lot on your sparring partner, how skilled you are if you have a very skilled par sparring partner especially you have a sparring partner that can whoop your ass and you train with him on a daily basis within a couple of months you'll be able to land some punches on that sparring partner because you will pick up a lot like that's the quickest way to pick anything up is just having a very skilled sparring partner that gives you tips along the way which you know that tr andrew tate is doing so that's not true plus i don't believe that Jake and Logan spar together because their ego Logan's ego is so big. I don't really think Jake Logan's ego is so big That he wouldn't want Jake to whoop his ass. He wants to pretend he's on the same level He even thinks that he can beat Jake. I believe and Also What is he talking about Tristan being built like a gingerbread man? Tristan is has an athletic build he keeps in good shape and Logan Paul has a build that is induced by drug usage, PEDs. This is a fact. If you know anything about PEDs, you would know that I'm telling the truth. If you disagree with me, you just don't know anything about PEDs. It's that simple. People will say that it is speculatory, but that's because they're trying to be politically correct and they're scared that they might receive some consequences for telling the truth, but I doubt Logan Paul will even see this video. Yeah, he's definitely on PEDs. Um, Definitely not at the same level as Tristan and definitely not able to fight Andrew. Andrew would trash him But let's keep going with the delusional Logan Paul and the skilled Jake Paul The PFO will set this up uh oh, a, a, a MMA double ten million, tag team match. Ten million for everybody. You might have a fight, you might have a fight on your <laughs> hands. That it. would go crazy. Let's do it. Let's do it. No, seriously. I'm let's about do the it. action. Like I'm no. I'm less talk now. Like, like let's just fucking go. Fuck Yo, but on, you know for talk. a fact, me and Jake will travel to Romania. There you go. We will make this happen. We'll do it wherever you want, whatever conditions you want. Ten million each fighter. 
It's not going to be accepted. That's just the guarantee. He puts in a hole in him. Th there's a reason yeah, the fight won't happen. Huge. I mean, but you do have to give Logan his respect for having balls, though. Because I do think he's telling the truth. I do think he would do it. So right there, Logan does have my respect for being brave. But he's also, uh, I don't know, overestimating his skills. Or underestimating Tristan either way. It's dangerous. It's yeah. hundreds of millions. Yeah. So that's just the guarantee. But Somebody yeah. got to stand on business, let's and they might happen, live in bro. Romania Let, right let's now. Let's talk, bro. All these guys want it until it's not time to sign the contract. In okay, that's it. That's it. So, as far as uh, Logan versus Tristan, if it is a boxing match, Tristan most likely wins. If it is kickboxing match guaranteed Tristan wins because like I've said before it takes years and years of practice to perfect kicks you can't just learn them in a couple of months and really be accurate and precise with them especially considering that Logan doesn't even understand how to throw his hips into a punch let alone knowing how to throw his hips properly into a kick it's not gonna happen he's not gonna have good kicks now in an MMA fight Logan will stand a chance he might even win see I keep it real because he's a good wrestler, and I don't think Tristan Tate really knows much about wrestling. So if he takes it to the ground, Tristan Tate will probably be in trouble. Now, if we're talking about Andrew versus Jake, that's where the real fight is. Jake has skills. Andrew has skills. It will definitely be a brawl, and the fight could go either way, 50-50. Any type of fight that it is, besides kickboxing. Because without the ground game and Andrew being able to kick... He would destroy Jake as well. Cause if you know how to kick properly, you can sort of use your kicks as a tool to gauge the distance. So you can keep the fighter away from punching distance or at least close punching distance to be able to really get in close on you. You could probably jab him. But you can keep the fighter away basically with your kicks and set up punches using your kicks. If you know, It's a tool that's used a lot by karate fighters but I've seen Andrew Tate use this tool a lot in his kickboxing with the side kicks and the teeps basically you use the side kick or the teep to keep the fighter at the distance you want them and then once you see the opening you can go ahead and strike or even kick them in the head this is a tool that I use a lot when I used to compete because I'm I'm very kick dominant I loved kicking Actually, the only reason why I ever got into boxing was because my karate coach told me that what that I was too dependent on kicking. So that's why I ended up doing boxing for four years. It was under his, I don't know, under his demand. He said I have to take boxing classes because I would basically kick the whole fight, jab, kick, 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 kick. Obviously, that's a waste of energy too. I mean, when you're a teenager, like. I was when I competed often, you kind of have endless energy, but as you get older, kicking does take a lot of energy. You have to kick wisely, kind of getting off track, but you guys know the gist of it. Jake Paul, Andrew Tate, 50-50. We don't know who would win because they're both highly skilled. Now, Andrew Tate obviously is a veteran. He probably has a higher skill level than Jake, but Jake has youth on his side and he has that power punch. And when it comes to Logan versus Tristan, I don't think Logan really stands much much of a chance, but there are always surprises or sometimes I, I believe the Jake Pauls, the Paul brothers, sorry, not the Jake Pauls, rig fights as well. I'm not going to lie, but it is what it is. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.